So Paul, we, we've talked a lot about stars. We've looked at our sun, how it was, we think formed, how, what the structure is. We've looked at other types of stars. But what about more than that? You know, we know, we know there's thousands, millions, tons of stars, and they make up these Well, let's, let's look at the distribution of stars. Yep. So here is the distribution of stars around the sun. So the sun in the middle, you've got Alpha Centauri. So it's like our neighbours. These are our neighbours, and they are pretty randomly distributed. Okay. Yeah, there's not... And what about their randomly types? They're similar? Yeah, so we've got things like Alpha Centauri, which is a pair of yep. fairly sun-like stars with a red dwarf orbiting them. And then you've got others, the white stars and the so other reasonably sun-like stars. Yep. There are no real big blue or red giants very close to us. That's right. But there are also nothing really... There's no clumps. There's no yeah. big gaps. So let's zoom a bit further out. Yep. So now we're looking at a scale of you know, 50 light years or so. And can you see a pattern here? I mean, not really. There's just kind of a few... Again, it's just more of the same. Again, there's no clumps. There's no more or less in any one location. That's right. I mean, you can... Human eyes great at seeing patterns where there aren't any. Yes. It's better to think you see a tiger when there isn't a tiger <laughs> than not see a tiger when there is one. Fair um, point. But let's zoom out now to 200 light years. I mean, it's a lot denser. And so, so the, in this red square here, that, that is... That was the previous... That was our previous one. I, not really... Yeah, I mean, it's again, all over more, the place. But it's, yeah, that's true, you're looking at a bigger volume. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, but now, how about on a scale of about a thousand light years? Okay, so there's definitely a lot more, but there, it seems a little bit more sandwiched. Right? Yes. There's a lot, you know, there's a little bit more of these gaps at the top, a lot more than Yeah, so seeing here. stars in the middle, but less, maybe a little bit on top and bottom. And if we zoom out a bit further, so we're looking at 2,000 light years, yes, then so it becomes rather clear. It does. So we went from, what, 5 to 50 to now 1,000 and 2,000 light years. And so we're starting to see this flattish structure over density of stars. That's right. And so if we actually look at a, a simulation of this... Um, we can see as we fly into it that we're living in a, a flat distribution of stars. Now, the sexual simulation, I couldn't actually put the right number of stars in here. There's far too few stars. Yeah. But hopefully it gives you the idea that we're living in a flattened distribution of stars. So even though there are stars kind of everywhere, they're mostly flattened to an, into a, a disk. Yeah, it's not a definite edge. Yeah. Um, it, it thins out as you go away. And by the time you're a thousand or two thousand light years up, there aren't very many stars. Right. On the scales of only a few hundred light years, it's, you can't really tell what this is going on. But, yep. but it's much more extended this direction than that direction. Yes, but by quite a lot. So it's like someone stood on a collection of stars <laughs> and flattened them, pancaked them. So this is our Milky Way galaxy, as we call it. It's this flattened distribution of stars. So it's the, it's the structure, it's the shape of our yes. galaxy. Now, as we're in this flattened distribution, if you look along the flattened distribution, you're going to see lots of stars. But if you look up or down, you're You'll going to see, see relatively few. That's right. And that's what you see in this picture of the Milky Way, with the Milky Way coming up here. And the Milky Way, if you look at it with a telescope, is just very, very large numbers of stars, like you can see here. That's right. So this it's is, very dense. So this is what I mean, the naked eye just looks like a... A white shape. spilt yeah. milk, hence the name, and a lot of cultures have something to do with milk in terms of this. Um, but if you look with a telescope, it's just lots of stars. This is one of my favourite pictures. Mm. It just makes me feel really small. <laughs> so if you were to take this similar picture away from that disk, it wouldn't look anything really You'll like You'll see this. the bright stars that are nearby, they're not this incredible mass of faint stars. Yeah, okay. So you really can see different volumes or different densities of stars depending on where you look in our nighttime sky, because it's really where you look in our galaxy. That's right. So the Milky Way is when you're looking at Witten's flattened disk, when you look along the flattened disk, you're going to see lots of stars. When you look up or down, yep. you're going to see fewer.